Uh, we're looking at the underside of it now, Dick. Uh, we can see S-149 out in the anti-solar airlock, and uh, we can also see the parasol flapping in the breeze. Roger, we have a good uh, picture, and uh, we're looking at it. Okay, Dick, we're uh, zoomed all the way out now. Roger. Looking right in the wardroom window. Nobody's home. Roger, but you will be. touch it up. Uh, we don't have the uh, earth in the background yet, but aside from that, it look uh, like it needs any focus or anything. Roger, uh, the picture looks pretty good. We are about the bottom uh, half of the picture. It seems to be blocked out by the bottom uh, half, I guess it is, of the window structure. But the picture itself uh, looks pretty good. Maybe it, maybe it is the zoom setting you have. Well, I've noticed that all the way in. I haven't been able to get rid of it. Okay. Well, the picture we do have, which is about the top 60% of the screen, uh, is pretty good. And Skylab Houston uh, requests you switch quad delta to the PSM. PLT Houston uh, Inco suggests that the color wheel uh, might be stuck. You might uh, take the camera and just shake it. Don't knock it around hard, but uh, just kind of jostle it on the bracket and possibly that'd get rid of it. But we do have a good picture in the portion that we see. Skylab Houston uh, GNC reminds us that the uh, same thing happened on uh, two that during this phase we did get uh, hot quads uh, and, it, and it was on A, so just keep an eye on it and so will we. Roger, Jack. Roger, uh, we just came to the same conclusion, Jack, and uh, INCO suggests uh, cycling a power TV uh, camera power switch uh, off and then back on again. Uh, you mean S band aux TV? That's affirmative. That, that's affirmative, excuse me.
Roger, they're over the sky deck. Roger, we're uh, handing over at the moment, and we'll get TV back in a second. Houston, uh, we got a picture back now. We can see the uh, earth in the background, and apparently the cycling switch didn't help, so we'll uh, probably live with what we have. Well, the old parasol, uh, Dick, is really blowing in the breeze. Looks like about a 10 or 15 knot gale every time the uh, thrusters uh, fire in just a very gentle fly around here. Roger, uh, we were watching that very thing there. Al thinks he'll probably uh, knock off the fly around at this point to avoid blowing that parasol away. I think that's certainly your call, and looks like we concur. Uh, you can tell that the jets uh, forced the parasol up against the side, the shiny surface of the workshop as uh, we fly around, and then it's the uh, recoil from the uh, um, uh, springs, the, the uh, fishing rods that just spring it back out. Roger, Owen, uh, we certainly concur. Uh, we think that'd be a prudent thing to do. Uh, you can see it flopping there in the breeze. In fact, we've blown it a little bit more than we'd like to, to tell you the truth. We'll try to drift off to the side a little bit, and then uh, maybe we can uh, prevent hitting it. Roger, CDR, concur with that. As you can probably also tell, it appears to be rotated uh, by about the 5 to 10 degrees as expected. Roger. problem is uh, we're trying to slide around to the front of it, and every time we fire aft thrusters, which uh, move us that direction, it tends to get under the front edge of the uh, sunshade. We'll try to just drift a little bit longer. Roger, TDR. drifting away uh, the best we can. I'd like to turn a little bit uh, to the left and show it to you better, but every time I start to turn that way, it gives the uh, parasol a, uh, a flip up at the front. Roger, uh, CDR, do what you think is best to avoid uh, as much uh, uh, blowing of the parasol as you can. Uh, we'll do without the picture.